in this segment, uh, we will look at uh, controller design in uh, power factor correction circuits. So the overall uh, block diagram is shown here. The, the power stage, we are between the diode rectifier and the output capacitor. Uh, we have a boost converter uh, consisting of this inductor, diode, and the transistor. And uh, the controller that is needed uh, is uh, comparing the reference uh, output uh, DC voltage, which will pick to be greater than the peak of the incoming AC voltage. And uh, then the measured output voltage is compared. And the difference between these two acts on this voltage controller here. And uh, that gives the reference value of the peak of the current that should flow here. And uh, <clears throat> we multiply this uh, reference with uh, the template, which is the absolute value of sine omega t. And that gives us the reference value of the current that ought to flow over here uh, through this inductor. And uh, we compare it with the actual current that is flowing, this IL measured, and the error between these two uh, acts on this uh, current controller, which gives the control voltage, which is compared with the ramp signal over here to give us the switching signal for this transistor here. Okay, so, so we have to design this current controller in this current current control loop as shown here, and then we have to design this voltage controller here, okay. So, so let's, uh, let's begin. And uh, let's first design the, the, the inner average current uh, control loop, and uh, uh, this will be much faster than the outer voltage uh, uh, control loop here. So, in terms of the the control block diagrams here. This is the input uh, reference current, and uh, we are comparing the actual current with this reference going to current controller, um, the control voltage going into the PWM IC, which you know determines the duty ratio, and then we have the power stage. So we are doing this on an uh, you know average basis here, uh, switching. Uh, Switching information is uh, uh, will be taken care of here. So, uh, if you look at uh, in terms of the perturbation, uh, we have this perturbation in the inductor current reference, and uh, the the output inductor current the perturbation. The the error between these two going to this current controller which we have designed. So, let me put a question mark here. Perturbation in the the control voltage is PWM IC. Uh, we know that can be represented by just this one over the, the peak of this uh, reference waveform here. If the ramp, ramp voltage, I shouldn't say reference, ramp voltage. So if the ramp voltage looks like this, VR hat is here. So one over VR hat is this uh, gain of this uh, PWM IC, the perturbation in the control voltage, and then the power stage we'll show can be represented by just this uh, transfer function, okay? <clears throat> so that's what uh, this control diagram looks like. So the question is, uh, what uh, allows us to represent the power stage here uh, by this transfer function here? Power stage meaning uh, this divided by this uh, duty ratio over here. Okay, so let's look at uh, the circuit we have, the boost converter, and where we have uh, uh, well, uh, we know that uh, in a boost converter, uh, if you have this average circuit here, in terms of perturbations, where there's no perturbation here in the input voltage, is a short over here, and then we have uh, the rest of the circuit over here. But uh, uh, the frequencies at which we'll be closing this current loop, there'll be tens of uh, kilohertz, and we can assume that's uh, if you, especially if you ignore this ESR here, this capacitor acts like a short circuit at those high frequencies here. So if you put a short circuit here on the uh, the secondary side or, or the right side, I should say, of this transformer, then you may as well put the short circuit on the left side of this transformer over here. So if you did that, you can see that uh, uh, 
the ratio of voltage and current would be given by this transfer function here. By the way, V0 and VD are used interchangeably over here, okay? So this is the uh, DC side voltage. <coughs> so you can see the power stage as uh, this transfer function. Okay, so having determined that, uh, designing the control uh, loop is now very straightforward. Uh, that PWM IC is given this transfer function and the power stage has this transfer function over here and the controller that we will pick uh, should have a pole at the origin here to give us a zero steady state error and uh, we can just get by with one zero and one pole to give us the boost and uh, in a uh, single zero single pole arrangement uh, this factor k boost is given by this expression and uh, based on that and having picked some uh, frequency at which uh, this uh, open loop here between here and here should uh, uh, cross over uh, you know if you can select this frequency it's usually in uh, tens of kilohertz uh, and knowing this we can calculate the frequency at which uh, we have uh, zero in this transfer function, this here, and similarly, the pole that we have in this transfer function, and also knowing what the uh, uh, controller gain is at this frequency, crossover frequency, uh, we can calculate uh, this k sub c over here. So the bottom line is that we can uh, calculate uh, all these things over here uh, in this uh, transfer function here. All right, so next uh, thing we have to look at is how to design the, uh, the voltage controller. And uh, first thing we notice in this control diagram is that we'll assume the closed control loop to be ideal uh, and represent that by unity over here, <coughs> okay? And it can be shown, we are not going into that, that uh, the power stage uh, for this uh, controller can be represented by this expression over here, okay? So what we have to do is to uh, design this uh, voltage controller. And uh, uh, here we should recognize that uh, uh, we will close this loop uh, at a, the bandwidth of this loop should be fairly small. So if you're operating at, uh, let's say, frequency of 60 hertz, uh, which is the input frequency if F1 is 60 hertz, then we want to close this loop at, uh, you know, well below the second harmonic frequency of uh, the fundamental here. So about one-tenth of that, so let's say we want to close this loop, we want this F sub C to be about uh, 12 to 15 hertz, something like that. Fairly low frequency at which we'll close this loop here. So we can get by with a controller uh, transfer function looking like this. And uh, it's not ideal, but it will do the job. And uh, using the meaning of uh, the crossover frequency where the, the loop gain should be unity, we come up with this equation here. And uh, at the crossover frequency, the perturbation at the second harmonic and the output this IL2 uh, should be uh, quite small. Uh, so if you can assume that to be about 1.5% of this uh, peak inductor current at the rated value, then we can uh, come up with this equation here at uh, the second harmonic frequency here. And so we have two equations here and two unknowns. So we can, uh, you know, we can calculate this and this over here. Okay. So once we have calculated uh, this uh, transfer function, uh, we can then implement that using two, uh, uh, using an op amp circuit as shown here, uh, where all these uh, values can be calculated. And then we can implement that in uh, P spice. And uh, this is done uh, for uh, for the case where the switching power pole is represented by its uh, by its average, 
and uh, the details of the input are not shown. So it's assumed that the input voltage uh, that is applied is looking like this here. Okay, and uh, this is the circuit and the waveforms are shown over here. And you can see here that at some point, at some point in time, the, the output load is decreased. So the output voltage somewhat increases because we don't have an ideal uh, voltage loop controller. And uh, the, of course, the current drawn from the input side also uh, decreases here. And we can do the same thing in a switching circuit model where instead of an average model of the, uh, the power pole, uh, we have the, the switching model and we implement the same controller here and the, the results are very similar here. This is the output voltage which goes up because the output load has gone down and the input current comes down here. And we can also uh, feed forward the input voltage because uh, for a given load, if the incoming AC voltage goes up, then uh, the current needed is less, right? So having that information uh, trickle down through the output, uh, that uh, is really not necessary. Uh, so we can have the feed forward here by using this part of the circuit here and uh, implement that. So that's a feature available in these uh, power factor correction ICs. So it brings us to the summary of this uh, segment where we have looked at the design of the controller for power factor correction circuits uh, with uh, single phase input.